All right, boys, so welcome back here today. I'm on TSH, okay? People were panicking. I uploaded three videos only um, in a row that weren't TSH, and everyone's like, oh, he quit. He gave up, TSH over. Uh, he just wanted Mirror to drop, and he's now giving up his ambitions in the game. I I'm still playing the game, okay? I'm not quitting. I just wanted to upload Ultra Rumble because it dropped and I was enjoying it. But I am still here, okay? I literally accelerated the, the release of this video so that people can calm down and understand I'm not quitting, okay? Here today, we're talking about Mirio. Now, again, I'm super happy he released, super happy this entire release occurred. I was, I enjoyed just all my testing, all my uh, matches with him, um, partially. And uh, when it came to PvP, now that is a different story, right? So with this character, okay? I have seen, I have went against, I have sparred against, I have tried, I have tested, I have seen many things with this character, okay? What the fudge do the devs make, fam? I understand many things. I understand in this game, PvP really has no balance. Some characters are just busted. Some characters aren't just busted. And that's how it goes. A normal game, a normal occurrence, that is how PvP is in many games. For reference, I played Grand Cross on another channel, and in that game, some characters are just better. That's how it is. You can't beat it, you can't win against them. They are just that good, okay? In this game, we don't have that much of a roster. We don't really, we really don't. And some of the characters that have gotten added over time were damn good at launch. They were, to nerf a character just for perspective, it took three months to four months to actually end up nerfing Hawks when he was busted, broken, insane. There was a bug that made him even more broken where he like went in the air and like an ultimate um, that stayed there forever. Just imagine, so they have three to four months to nerf him and to fix that. Uh, but with Mirio, okay? I'm not asking for a nerf. But devs, okay, you got you gotta maybe possibly potentially take a look into what the flip you created because this man's is a beast. And at a point, I think it's a little bit too much of a beast. Um, and I want to know your your opinions down below. Maybe this is a skill issue. Maybe I suck at this game. I'm um I'm growing terrible at PvP and I just suck that bad that I can't counter any Mirio. Um, that again I could. There there are some characters that can't counter him, but I think that he is a little bit too broken. Just just a little bit, okay? Maybe more than just a little bit, but but he is broken. Not gonna lie though, I need your opinions down below, by the way. Just just let me know, what do you think? Is it a skill issue that you're losing to Mirio? Or do you think Mirio needs a tad bit of a rework? Not a rework, a tad bit of a potential nerf. Now again, I think the purpose of releasing Mirio um, like this was to shaft everyone of um, what they summoned for which was WHM WHM being a really annoying also trio of characters that have released right each of them being really good in PvP for specific things I know my comments like to say that you know WHM Deku is terrible But you've never gone against a WHM Deku that completely just spams that flick that air whatever And you can't do anything against them because it's super annoying runs dashes away does Q does W whatever and just annoys you right you've never encountered that but with WHM, very annoying characters. Mirio, I understood to be the counter to WHM is. But like, I get it, you wanted to counter WHM, but you didn't have to counter the entire game to counter WHM because at this rate, I've seen people trying against Mirio um, and they're damn good players. But a person that sucks at Mirio can destroy a person that's really good at the game. It's just how it is. Sometimes you can't hit Mirio. He just constantly has uh, invincibility. You can't touch him. His uppercut like teleports from a mile away and knocks you out. You activate his special, you just get knocked down. With this character, he is absurdly, absurdly broken. Um, and I think that maybe, maybe in the future, possibly he will catch a nerf. Now, the thing is, and the, there's two reasons I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I know first the devs are going to take a look into this, possibly. And if they do, remember, what you are 74 may get nerfed, okay? Moving forward, I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know that with the concern that is going around the community, um, and with the players kind of complaining a lot, um, I've seen a lot of people saying they're sending support tickets, um, which everyone sends support tickets. The devs barely respond to any of them. Usually the devs' response is, plus ultra, we've heard you, great job, continue paying for the game, move on. Um, and they never really get a response, or they never really get a fix. Maybe they do, and it takes a little bit of time, but remember, that's kind of how it goes with this game. Again, Hawks was so broken, and for how long people have spammed the devs, saying, please fix this, this is absurd. I made a video on it. I made a video, and it took them still two to three months to actually fix. Um, maybe it was four, I don't know the exact amount, but it was an insane amount of time to fix that bug. So, with Mirio, the amount of spam and the amount of people that are saying that he is just too broken, there is no chance how this character can do this much damage and just be this insane, where no one can counter him. Um, it's just absurd, right? So again, if you are a 74 and realize that it might get it might get kind of turned on, and if you are playing the game currently, what the fudge did they make? I get it, I wanted Mirio broken, but I never said how broken I wanted him. This man is nuts. Um, and again, when I played and I tried to counter him, 
Um, it's usually the things that work. It's either a Mirio against a Mirio, um, an Endeavor against a Mirio, or a Hawks against a Mirio, right? So that's the th that's a team that I'm currently trying. Um, and it does pretty good. So whenever Mirio spawns in, if I lose the Mirio battle to that said Mirio, Endeavor can kind of kind of um, be a decent counter. And then Hawks can also be a decent counter, right? But um, in order for Hawks to work, you got to just be toxic and that constant um, spam. So it really depends. You know, if, if that person is using Mirio, you deserve to be as toxic as you want. But in this game, um, realize that they have nerfed characters in the past. And I think that Mirio will catch one. Just if you are suffering and you are getting destroyed in PvP, I don't know what to say to you, but yes, they, they've made a monster. They, they've made a beast. Devs, take a look, man. Take a look at what you've done. Um, overall, I, I haven't really... I don't have the ability to actually say I enjoyed my PvP matches because some of them are super annoying um, where you genuinely can't do anything. Like, a Mirio can 100 owe you, um, not to get any damage, but just take out 100% of your, your HP bar, right? They can really do that just because I don't know what's with the kit. Um, they constantly have an instability. It's really hard to get any attacks off. Um, none of them land, none of them stick. None of them even affect them. Like, you can do one attack that will guarantee the damage, but it doesn't do anything. For example, like when, you know, WHM Todoroki does his, you know, entire ice thing, it doesn't freeze Mirio for some reason, right? When Endeavor does his charge up and like unleashes the fire, whatever, it doesn't do anything, right? So some things just don't work. Momo's turrets don't even affect him. Like he doesn't even catch any, you know, hit from that. I don't get it. Um, but, you know, while it's there, I already know people are going to abuse it like they currently are. Everyone's just abusing Mirio at this point. But um, in the future, devs, before releasing a character, maybe do a little bit of testing, okay? This guy is nuts, and maybe, I don't know if they're going to nerf him. I personally stand at the fact that he's just too nuts to stay as he is. So if you are somebody for him for that reason, knowing the devs, they'll nerf him after um, his actual banner ends, because that's how they do it. They, they want you to summon. They want the money. They'll be like, oh, yeah, you're right. We should nerf him. He deserves it. He can't be this good in PvP. So, like, one week after his banner ends, just so they don't say, you you know, A, they did it right away. They'll wait a week or two um, and then nerf him. But I do think there's going to be a small change or uh, a big change to him. Um, where he's not nuclear. I still think he deserves to have it that he can counter said units like WHM. Um, it just makes it a little bit more fair um, to people that can't actually acquire those units anymore, given it may never return. So it is good that Mirio can do what he does. But is it good that he can do that well at what he does, right? Like just nuclear? Um, no. So with that being said, just keep that in mind while you are taking care of everything. Um, and again, I know the devs are looking to do it, but devs, holy crap, you guys are nuts when it comes to making characters. Because, I don't know, like, Tamaki wasn't broken-broken, but he was damn good. Nejire wasn't broken-broken, but she was okay. But, like, Mirio's nuts. <laughs> he genuinely just destroys everything. Um, there's no meta when he can just counter almost everyone. Almost everyone. So, yeah. After, uh, after like, three hours of NA PvP and three hours of EU PvP, I can say for certain, I hate PvP now. Yeah.